Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian, and today we are going to look at the brand new Will City theme on Theme Forest. It's a directory theme. Yet another uh, directory theme has entered this space. The first thing at very first blush, I'm just going to give you my first intuitions and impressions about this uh, framework. These guys have built some other popular directory frameworks, ListGo, uh, certainly very popular. Uh, it's not one that I've used. I have I bought it, but we didn't use it. I don't really love it. Um, this one, though, feels like a quantum leap in terms of the aesthetics, in terms of some of the functionality. Again, I haven't purchased this yet. I'm going to purchase it later today to do a more complete uh, overview, but this is basically just my initial intuitions. The first thing that it is impossible to ignore, here's an example of one of our uh, my listing um, uh, installations. I mean, you know, the similarities between the two are, you know, quite striking, right? This is exactly the hero above the fold search element with just a little bit of a aesthetic variation. Um, you know, if you scroll down, here is this all is very similar to the my listing uh, default configuration, at least from a visualization standpoint. All right, now a couple things that are going to be interesting about this: they're they're developing uh, iOS and Android apps. Uh, from what they're saying on the thread, these should be available in. Uh, August, which, you know, is a really appealing thing, a native app for this sort of framework would be nice to have. They have events. So let's look at this. This is an example of an event using uh, the Will City theme. I'm sure this is going to be much more fleshed out as they develop the, um, you know, the framework. Right now, there's no ticket purchase uh, you know, again, this is at first blush. This has only been out for less than a day. All right, so you can't purchase tickets. This is really the extent of the event. You can mark yourself interested. You have to sign in to do that. Let's see, do we have events here? Let's see if we can just quickly compare. No, I don't have events on this particular directory, so I can't really compare that. This needs to be much better, I think, ultimately, to be really functional. You need tickets. These should be associated with individual listings. In this case, there's a listing promotion in the sidebar. You have a listing author or an event author profile, which I really like. So you can have, you know, so this guy here, you know, who's just the default um, administrator, but you can see all his listings. All right, and his events, here are the events, which is where we came from a moment ago. You can follow him. Again, you have to sign in. Here's his about page. All right, let's go and explore. Let's see some of the cool things you can do with this. I like the aesthetics of this, I really do. I mean, I think the appearance is really nice. I like the, um, the layout here. You have a really nice header image. This I asked about actually a couple of minutes ago because um, I'm not really sure what this is designed to do, the shop now. If you click on that, as you can see, it just really refreshes the page. So either that's a, you know, something they just didn't tie in nicely before they launched this or it's actually designed, I'm sure, to do something, right? I mean, I don't see any WooCommerce integration as of now. There's no store. I don't see any product integration. I did ask about this a few moments ago, so hopefully that's coming. I like the way the reviews are done. I like the way the um, the hours are aesthetically displayed. I like the scrollable elements of this or the navigation on the individual listings, three videos, events, reviews, adding a review again you got to sign in which is a pain in the ass for display purposes i like the fact that you can type a message into somebody else's review they're going to make me sign in i'm sure Did that work 
No, it didn't. Let's try that again. Come on. There's a little, some little buggy things that might not be a buggy thing. Let me, I mean, let me see. All right, now that should just let me, and nothing's happening because I, I think it wants me to log in. Sort of frustrating. I mean, there are certain little things about this that I'm not, that are, annoying but again with the understanding this is less than a day old in terms of its availability let's inbox this it's not going to work but let me let me show you if i did try it did uh, create a an account earlier today so let's just do that all right so we can stop with all this annoying little bugginess all right so if i inbox these folks you can see All right, we're sending this listing owner a message directly from the listing, which is very cool.